for us about where things stand in the Senate, Ed. I tweeted earlier, everyone's going to follow my tweets all throughout the next 48 hours. I said earlier that Mitch McConnell should fight for this wall as hard as he fought for Kavanaugh. And actually, it's probably more important in the, in the long-term survival of the country. Well, remember, he only needs 51 votes. I've been talking to Senate Republicans in private. What they're saying is they're hopeful they can get to 51 votes to pass uh, what the House Republican leaders there uh, are talking about, uh, Congressman Scalise and Congressman Duffy as well. But the challenge, I'm being told, is that you have Republicans like Bob Corker. You mentioned there's not a lot of traffic. Some of them have gone home already. Bob Corker told Fox tonight he's retiring from Tennessee. He's already driving home to Tennessee. That's it's his a plan anyway. Because it's a disgrace. They're not planning to stick around. Now, will they be pulled back? Because the wall funding, we'll see. But I've talked to sources inside the White House, by the way, who tell me, think about it. Put yourself in the, in the shoes of, of President Trump. Uh, he was told that we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. Uh, he was told we're going to have wall funding. Uh, he was told that we'd eventually get out of Afghanistan and Syria once we defeated ISIS. And you go down the list, and a lot of these priorities that he didn't just campaign on and promise, but he actually won on in 2016, he hasn't been able to follow up on. Look at the tariffs. Rep established with Republicans time and time again, people inside the White House remind me, uh, I told the president, don't do it. And Congressman Duffy will be the first to tell you that but for President Trump standing up against Canada, uh, the dairy farmers in Congressman Duffy's district wouldn't right. have been helped there in Wisconsin. Yeah, so time and again, the president's instincts on these issues, Ed just took us through a couple of them, were spot on. He was pulled back from his instincts by the experts. I think some of them were foreign policy experts that are now thankfully gone, or treasury experts. His instincts on this are right. And I want to play something for everybody. you got to watch Chuck Schumer. They're playing a big game there on Capitol Hill today. This is what he said about the shutdown. Watch. President Trump is plunging the country into chaos. And he said in front of us he'd be proud to shut down the government. It is nothing to be proud of. The bottom line is simple. The Trump temper tantrum will shut down the government, but it will not get him his wall. Congressman Scalise, temper tantrum. I don't think so. I mean, he campaigned on this. He won on this. He deserves uh, the Republicans to get behind him and also put the Democrats.